Welcome to Ground Aviation. Today, we're going to talk about pushback and why airplanes, like the Airbus A321, can't reverse themselves. When you're at an airport, you've probably seen large airplanes being pushed back from the gate by a pushback tug before they taxi to the runway. But have you ever wondered why they need this help? Why can't they just reverse on their own like a car? Well, let's break it down. One, no reverse gear in jet engines. Unlike cars or trucks, airplanes don't have a reverse gear in their engines. The jet engines on an A321 are designed to push the aircraft forward by sucking in air and accelerating it out the back. There is no internal mechanism to reverse this process efficiently for ground movement. Some planes have a system called reverse thrust, where parts of the engine redirect airflow forward to help slow the aircraft down after landing. However, this is not designed for reversing on the ground because it blows debris like dust, rocks, and dirt into the engines, which can cause damage. It creates a strong jet blast, which is dangerous for ground crew and equipment. It's not precise enough to safely maneuver the aircraft in tight airport spaces. No powered wheels. Another big reason is that airplanes don't have powered wheels like a car. The main landing gear and nose wheel are not designed to generate movement. Instead, planes rely on their engines for forward thrust, and pilots steer using the nose wheel tiller while taxiing. There have been concepts like electric-powered taxi systems, where motors are built into the wheels, but these are not widely used yet. 3. The role of pushback tugs. Since airplanes can't reverse themselves, Airports use pushback tugs, or tow trucks, to move them away from the gate. These specialized vehicles connect to the aircraft's nose wheel and carefully maneuver the plane into position. This system is much safer and more efficient than trying to reverse with jet engines. Ground crews communicate with pilots using headsets and hand signals to ensure a smooth pushback operation. Conclusion. So next time you're at the airport, pay attention to the pushback process. It's a crucial part of ground operations that helps keep flights on schedule and ensures safety on the tarmac. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my Ground Aviation channel for more aviation insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.